Do communities choose leaders? And if so, what is their role? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Why the hell would we want that? Okay. That's where things go awry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So how does your kind of political system or your government work or is there, what's your system look like? We don't have law, but we do have conversation. And when someone is just going against the way of the people and the way of the land um, and someone else is harmed, um, our elders get together. We have certain elders um, that are designated to discuss what happens. And most of the time it would be um, they're extricated out of, you know, the order and they're no longer allowed to affiliate or to receive help from the order. Um, a lot of times we may attempt to send them over after great discussion and permission from elders and every elder, which typically is um, up to 100 elders and even a small um, parcel of land, would have to agree unanimously that that person be sent to the New Earth Order for rehab Rehabilitation because the New Earth Order um, believes in um, emotional rehabilitation and sometimes they're able to do that and they have the patience and tolerance and interesting emotional technologies for that um, and, and we just don't have time for it. So sometimes if they evidence that, that, that they've gone to the New Earth Order, um, they're in a, a minimum security, what's the thing you used to call it? You used, we don't, it's not a prison. We don't have that but it's a minimum security stay house is what we call it which is a part of a, a general new earth homestead that um is away from children and women um and on the new earth order lands that would be minimally guarded and it would be heavily facilitated that all of the um inmates there would be greatly fed they would be fed um only nutritious food and cleansing food purifying foods um they would be spiritually rehabilitated they would be um there, there are certain um we, we call them um emotional counsel. So the emotional counsel members of the NEO would come in and work with them. And if they um, are able to, we would speak to the elders again, and they would come in and with a um, strict um, time frame, a probation period, they would be allowed back into um, the RRO um, if all of the elders are unanimous, unanimously approving and trusting them. But it could take some years of probation and earning of trust again. Um, and this is for heavy crimes, you know, because we do still have heavy crimes like occasional rape and molesting and things that you experience daily in your world. Now we do still occasionally have that, <clears throat> but for the most part, um, people don't want to do that. And what they do is they go before the elders and they will say, I need a meeting with my elders because I'm having thoughts of hurting myself or hurting another person. I'm having thoughts of molesting a child. I'm having thoughts of that. And as opposed to being judged, they will be sent uh, for re rehabilitation. Um, and then they will come back, um, not with any probation because they didn't do anything wrong, but they will be coming back in good graces. And this is when they're in good standing with the RO. You just tell us in advance, you're really struggling and, and you need some help and we get you the help that you need. And that's Highly unlike your society, which is um, a big portion of its fall. Yeah.